Good day, Bermuda. I'm sitting here today uh, across from Sir John Swan, who is the longest serving Premier of Bermuda. And it, it is an in, indeed an honor to be speaking to you today, uh, Sir John, especially in light of the fact that uh, there's a fantastic um, uh, event coming up this weekend, Bermuda Heroes Weekend. And it's fantastic that you've been um, nominated to be our hero this year. Well deserved, sir. <laughs> Thank you. And um, the other thing, of course, which is, um, as you well know, uh, many of us have been very passionate about uh, the situation of um, equality and marriage equality and so on and so forth. And when we look around, just to sort of set the tone here, when we look around um, what's happened in the world, um, from England to Ireland, Ireland only a year ago, which is Catholic Ireland, it was an amazing journey that they took on four months of hard work and uh, they won the vote for marriage equality. And of course, the person that I think is one of the great leaders on this is, is President Barack Obama. So perhaps you might share with us, um, perhaps um, your journey as to where you've, where you've been on this matter and how you've come to this decision to support uh, marriage equality. Well, thank you. As you know, you and I go back a long way. In fact, I first met with your father. Yes. So, um, uh, and you've always been a person who's been very passionate about human endeavor and human expression and desires. And so I am not surprised when I hear you talking about something that is probably one of the most fundamental conscience, conscious decisions that we will have to make in Bermuda. I call it fundamental because, you know, many battles in Bermuda have been fought and fought hard for equality. People have gone to jail, people have been hurt, places have been burnt down. Well, we are much more on a more civilized track this time around. Civilized in the fact that we have an opportunity to read, not only read in terms of historical information, but also uh, to um, contemporary information, the, the study of biology, the study of how things come together and sometimes, but they don't necessarily come together always the way you expect them to come together. And because that coming together does not strike with what you consider to be your norm, it doesn't make it wrong. It is the fact that it is what it is, and nature has, like everything else, has different aspects to it. And therefore, people are born with different desires, feelings, and they should not be set apart from people that might have other feelings. We fought so hard for the eradication of racial discrimination, particularly in the black community, and I'm sure many whites in the community have fought the same way. We've come a long way in that process. I think Bermuda is at a crossroad. Not a crossroad to be in conflict with religion, not a crossroad to be in conflict with culture or traditions, but in a conscious, evaluation of who we are, what we are, and how do we have, what type of regard do we have for the human endeavor? And not to say because I'm of some way, somebody else must be like me, but to say that everybody is entitled to the rightful due. They will share in every aspect of the benefits that are accorded to them on the law, custom, and practice. And this whole issue or same-sex marriage, therefore, falls into that category. We must recognize that people, as human beings, as people who make a contribution to our society, who want to not be looked upon as being different, but be looked upon as being truly equal to one another. And the only way we can do this, only way we can do this, is to pass the appropriate legislation that allows them all the rights and privileges of a married couple. And therefore, I have no doubt in my mind that same-sex marriage is an essential part of the evolution of our society and that we should not step back and have to sort of do it over again or do it some future date. It now is the hour. 
the hour when we walk into that booth given a chance to exercise our conscience, to question even our conscience about where we were and what we might do and what we should do. And when we get to that stage, I think we will come to a conclusion that same-sex marriage is the way to go. Now you will have a ballot sheet, and I want to make it very clear, it's very important. On that ballot sheet, there are two questions. One is same-sex marriage, and the other one is uh, civil union. You'll ask two questions. One, you can put yes and yes on the ballot sheet. There are two questions, both answers have to be answered. One, you can put yes and no. My humble suggestion to you is on same-sex marriage, you put yes, and on uh, civil union, which sounds very strange to me, quite frankly, with you, you put no, because you don't want to invalidate your ballot sheet. Most people think like they go into most uh, referendae, and they just mark an X for what they stand for. The, this referendum is concocted in such a way that it adds a certain level of confusion. So I plead with you not to be confused, but be very precise and very clear that you are in favor of same-sex marriage. So John, I thank you for those comments. And you know, it, it's funny you should say this because I was asked just recently um, about this a matter of uh, yes, yes, or yes, no, and so on and so forth. And um, most people uh, who want to vote for same-sex marriage are going, well, why do I need to say yes or to the other or no to the other? In fact, I want to say no to civil unions. However, the other side of the matter is, is, is that if, um, if you put yes, yes, I mean, I guess the fallback position is, is that at least the community gets civil unions. Now, I'm not for that position myself. I think it's, let's go the whole hog and give everyone the equality that's, that's due. And I think you, you, you definitely agree with that, don't you? I, I, I agree that, you know, it, it, it's like saying, um, okay, I'll, I'll integrate the country, but there's still certain places you can't go. Uh, um, you, you can't be, you can't, as I once said to somebody, you can't be part pregnant. That's right, and you the, know, it's- The consciousness it, is about doing the right thing because it's the right thing to do, and you can't do it halfway. You do it either full way or don't do it at all. That's right. I think that civil union, somehow or the other, is a fallback position that compromises because all, all marital status under civil union is not met because certain laws in the country over time and custom and practice uh, and events that will take place that will not allow people in civil union to get the benefits of it. If we believe in equality of the human endeavor, if we believe in, in doing what is right, and really in a sense what we're asking really to do is the same thing that, you know, do you believe in prejudice? If the answer is no, then you must exercise, let free people be free to do whatever they want to do on the law. The same thing, and in, 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 in you can sort of say, well, fallback position is, is, is so only because you're trying to appease the churches. I went through that stage myself. I have somewhat lived, had to live with that. When the Stubbs bill came up, and John Stubbs and I had a conversation, I have had a sympathy for the churches because they were left out in the cold, the opposition had turned their back on them. And so I said to John, and John agreed, if the vote came down, by the time we got down to Essex, I would um, make a head, have a head count, and if I had a count that we were gonna win, then I would try to make the churches feel at least as a leader of the country that there was still room for them to not to feel completely this. It was a decision made by my head. It was a calculated decision made by my head. If I had voted with my heart, I would have voted in favor of the bill and said, I'm sorry, churches. I just feel very strong emotion about this thing. When I was a politician, times were different, conditions were different. Today I vote with my head saying, here are the biological facts, here are the social facts, here are the legal facts. 
and therefore I vote with not only my head, but I vote with my heart. I believe deep down inside of me that people who might have a different propensity than mine should have every right to seek comfort, love, and caring for that propensity. And therefore, you protect society and you take away all the stigmas and dogmas and things that really entrap people into things that produce very uncomfortable feelings for their future. They should be able to enjoy a future just like I enjoy one. So I am therefore asking you to put an X on same-sex marriage and a no on uh, civil union. Well, thank you, Sir John. Um, I really do appreciate the time. And it's, it's good to see you again and, um, and lots of luck going forward. And uh, as, uh, you're my hero. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much. Well, pleasure. Thank, thank you, Sir John. Take care. Take care too. Bye-bye.